Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. We are going to get a whole bunch of stuff done in this video. So I hope you are ready for some cleaning motivation. We're also going to cook a super delicious dinner. I'm going to share that with you guys. So stay tuned for that. And then we are also going to be working on a little playroom makeover. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you're probably thinking to yourself, what playroom? What are you talking about? So for the last year, I've had an online boutique and my husband and I had connected converted half of the garage into an office space for me and recently I decided to close my boutique and turn my office space into a playroom for the kids since I would no longer be using it as an office to store inventory for the boutique. So behind the scenes we've kind of been working on this a little bit off camera but we have a couple of shelves in here that store books, toys, all that kind of stuff, little entertainment center to have the TV on and this freed up a lot of space in the kids' bedrooms by doing this, taking a bunch of their stuff out of both of the bedrooms, putting it into the playroom on these shelves. It's just made their bedrooms so much less cluttered and now they have another space they can all play together um, or individually play, whatever they wanna do. We just have extra space, another kid hangout spot and it's already been so awesome. Um, I have a desk out here and all of their books and tons of art supplies. Um, we we're in the process of getting rid of a bunch of the shelves that were used for the boutique. So all three of these are gonna be coming out of this room here shortly later in this video. Um, and I'm going to be working on building a couch that I had ordered. So this video was filmed over a few day period. Um, so on this day, I am just showing you guys what we've done in here so far, a little overview of that and the vacuum needed to be ran in here. So I'm just running the vacuum in here and we will work on building that couch towards the end of this video. Now there's a bunch of random stuff that I need to get done today. So we're just gonna get going on that. I vacuumed the playroom, so that is good to go and ready for the kids to hang out after school if they want to. But I put the little attachment on this vacuum. This is the LG Cord Zero um, cordless vacuum. And there's this little attachment. I think it's a pet attachment if I remember correctly, but it is perfect for vacuuming couches and the couches really need to be vacuumed. It's been a while since I've done this. So I'm going to run this vacuum on the little love seat here and also on the big couch. Now I have some laundry to switch around. If you guys watched the last video that I posted, I had sorted out all of the laundry by color, towels, um, whites, all of that. And so this is actually the next day I was working on 
still washing all of that laundry and also washed our dog, our black lab Cash. He was at the groomer getting a full spa day, um, a bath and his nails clipped and his ears clean and all of that while I was filming this. So I had washed all of his blankets and that's why I'm pulling dog hair out of the wash machine. But I wanted to have those washed and ready for him when he got home um, so that way they weren't dirty with like dog hair and all of that stuff on there. Um, I'm also getting the whites started in the wash now and then I'm gonna work on folding that load that I pulled out of the dryer. All of that laundry is folded just finished working on the socks here I'm gonna go put the boys clothes away and also these towels in the kids bathroom that whole load was just a few towels and the boys clothes so those are put away and now I need to run the vacuum here in my room you can see there's little crumbs and little dust bunnies over there by my plant stand so we're gonna run the vacuum in here um, on the full hard floors and also on the rug One too many in strobing lights Yet I can spot you in this crowd Am I staring way too obvious? What if I gathered all my confidence? Could I walk right up to you? Be the stranger you've been looking for? No, I know this could never be But I'm still All right, headed out to the living room. I vacuumed the couches earlier with that small little handheld attachment part, um, but I didn't vacuum the rug out here. So we're gonna do that now. I'm gonna get under this little side table over here and just get everything vacuumed up out here. While I was vacuuming the living room rug, I moved kind of into the dining room and noticed that this rug in the laundry room could use a good vacuum. I probably need to throw it in the wash machine here soon because we have a lot of foot traffic that comes from the garage into the house and so this rug gets dirty pretty easily. It's light colored, but it's small enough that I can throw it in the wash. So definitely need to do that soon, but I'm just gonna continue vacuuming this area um, under the table, under the chairs, under the buffet, and get the dining room all vacuumed up. 
All right, my pickup and cleanup is done for the day and now it is time to make some dinner. You guys know how much we love HelloFresh. Even when I'm not working with them on a YouTube sponsorship, I am ordering HelloFresh. It makes my life so much easier. I will never not get HelloFresh because we are a busy family. We got three kids in all different activities and these meals are so quick and easy and honestly foolproof. Um, I pick out the meals each week and then they get delivered right to my doorstep and I have all of the ingredients I need pre-portioned, ready to go, like it cannot get any easier and there's always different meals to choose from and it makes it so easy to just quickly get dinner made on the table and then we can get out the door for all of our activities. The whole family likes all of the HelloFresh meals. There's so many different meals that we've gotten over the years. I think I've been getting HelloFresh since like 2018, roughly, and there's never been a single meal that we've made that we have not liked. By getting HelloFresh, my grocery trips are so much easier because I'm really just shopping for like snacks and stuff like that, and I'm not having to plan out meals for the entire week and then shop for all the ingredients. It just makes everything so much easier. I love that HelloFresh only has quality ingredients in all of the recipes. In fact, the ingredients travel from the farm to your home in less than seven days, so they're definitely fresh. Recently, we've been getting HelloFresh so often that Donnie and I have actually been having a lot of fun with it. He gets off work, comes home, and then we just start cooking together um, because there's the awesome recipe cards with step-by-step -step instructions. So it's been really fun to like cook together and have that thing that we do together every night. It makes it quicker getting dinner done and everything and it's just been a lot of fun. So on this night we made these amazing pork chops, these mashed potatoes, and then also these roasted Brussels sprouts and I am not a big pork chop fan and I was a little hesitant about this apple like a gravy sauce that was made with it but I'm telling you guys even when the meals are kind of like I don't know about this one like I don't know if I'm gonna like this one they're so good I have liked every single one of them this one included even like I said I was like kind of skeptical about the flavor and like I just wasn't sure about this one and it was so amazing I'm definitely gonna be ordering it again these Brussels sprouts were incredible and then this apple like sauce that went on the top chef's kiss you guys can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code CASPERFRESH65. That's 65% off plus free shipping. So use my code CASPERFRESH65. That'll get you 65% off plus free shipping. All right, back to work now. This is a couple of days later, but the couch just got delivered for the playroom. I ordered it from Wayfair and I will have it linked in the description box for you guys. It's the perfect little couch for kids, um, but we need to get these shelves out of here first so like I was saying um, when I had my online boutique my husband and I um, converted half of the garage into an office space so he framed out the walls um, he literally can build anything I swear um, we did drywall and textured the walls and painted trim padding carpet door like literally made this into a legit room so love that um, but I no longer need this office space so we went back and forth on what we decided what we wanted to do with it and finally decided that it would make the most sense to turn it into a hangout kid cave playroom whatever you want to call it so toys the Nintendo switch a TV um, their desk our supplies just all of the things that they like to do on a daily basis in one spot so then when they have friends over they can hang out out here um, we have a family in town then we can have them sleep out here. Um, it just works out best that way. Um, now I will say we live in Oregon and the climate here is pretty mild. We don't have like extreme hot summers. I mean, we get like in the 90s, but not like for six months on end. <laughs> uh, we don't have many like 100 plus days. And then in the winter, I mean, it gets pretty cold like in the 20s and 30s, but um, we might get a little bit of snow, but like I said, pretty mild compared to like the rest of the country, um, for summers and winters. So as far as like heating and cooling out here, it works out really well. 
Um, the entire garage is already insulated, so we didn't have to do any of that. It's insulated and finished. Um, so we just have a space heater in the playroom for the winter. I use that um, this whole time that it's been cold when I was working out there. And then this past summer when I was working out there, I just had a fan, like an oscillating fan. We didn't even have an air conditioner, just a fan, and it worked out totally fine. Um, we will see how this coming summer is, and if need be, then we may install a mini split in the garage. So that would be like a heater and an air conditioner in one. It's like a unit that is like built into the wall. So if we do that, I will let you guys know. I'll probably have some like a professional come and install that. But anyways, <laughs> some random info. Those are just questions I get on Instagram all the time about how we like heat and cool that area. But it's really not a problem just because of the valley area of Oregon that we live in. It's just pretty mild all year round. So that works out well in our favor. But we are unboxing this couch. So like I said, it came from Wayfair and um, it's a pretty good deal. I definitely wouldn't have a couch like this like in my main living area. But like I said, for kids space or like a guest room, it's definitely perfect for that as far as like the price point and the size. So Donnie helped me with a couple little things. Berkeley wanted to help with everything. She helped me unbox. She helped me get the shelves out of here. Uh, she was very excited that we got a couch and that I was going to be building it. So I'm just going to get to work putting this thing together. Like I said, Donnie helped me with a couple little things that I couldn't get on my own, like carrying it, the big part in here. Um, you'll see him come in a couple times and help me. But for the most part, I built this thing by myself. Very easy instructions. Um, and then it has like this storage on the end, um, on the chase lounge part to be able to put blankets or whatever in. So that was one of the reasons why I wanted to get this, this couch because it does turn into a bed and it also has that storage option. So let's go ahead and get to work putting this thing together. Also, while I'm sitting here working on this voiceover, I just realized that in my last cleaning video, in the second half, I was wearing this Tennessee sweatshirt. And then I was also wearing this Tennessee sweatshirt days before I filmed this segment of building the couch. I was wearing it a couple days before and then I'm wearing it again today. So I guess you could say this is my current favorite uh, sweatshirt, University of Tennessee. Um, I got it on Etsy. I'll link it for you guys. I just love a good basic sweatshirt and I grew up in Tennessee. UT fan, go balls. Um, <laughs> I will link it for you guys. But I won't be pretending that I have some more than love for you, baby. I'm done. I'm just done because I'm way too passive aggressive for you, babe. I know that I can't be too nice, but I won't feel like you do, babe. You know I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk about mistakes. It's not like you'll get a retake.
right, we got the couch all built. So I am gonna do a little decorating in here now. I'm gonna put one of these throw blankets on the back of the couch, make it look a little homey. And I'm gonna fold up some of the kids' extra blankets and get them put in this storage area so when they have movie nights, they can turn this into a bed and they can all snuggle up with a bunch of blankets and popcorn and watch a movie together, which they've already done twice. Um, while I'm doing this voiceover, it is Tuesday today. Yesterday was Monday, President's Day. The kids did not have school. So over the weekend, they had lots of movie nights since they had an extra day of school. And they definitely used this couch for their movie nights and they loved it. So love that it's already being put to use and the kids are loving this space already. Um, but we have some extra canvases and like pictures and stuff that are not being used in the main area of the house or the bedrooms so i'm gonna get those hung out here this godzilla versus kong that i made with my cricket a long time ago um then some canvases that we've made over the years that have been in our previous homes and stuff like that so i'm gonna put these up here for the kids to enjoy pictures of the boys when they were little they're so sweet Oh, I just love them. Okay, so I'm gonna hang these up and then I'll show you guys what we have done. the bean bag the couch I hung up some of our old canvases that were just in the closet in the house and then you guys have already seen the shelves with the toys I hung up the Godzilla versus Kong above the TV in this little gap that's there so we've got all of this stuff lots of toys out here and then this is like books and art supplies, desk. So they still have all of this carpet space for playing. It's hard to get a, the gist on camera of like the size of this room, but it's a good size. And then this turns into, I think you guys saw on the montage part, but that pulls out and up and then it turns this whole thing into a bed these cushions can come off the back these are just some extra pillows i had in the closet uh, we put some blankets in here so yeah perfect little pretty inexpensive couch for the kids to have out here and then we also have an extra space for people to sleep i think we'll get like a um memory foam topper just to like throw on there whenever we have family come stay in town or whatever so there is the playroom i will see you guys in my next video bye